I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn different types of probabilities. Let us provide an example for following types of probabilities. There are basically three types of probabilities which we are going to deal with. The first one here is empirical probability which is based on direct observation or experiment. Then we will talk about theoretical probability which is based on mathematical analysis and then move on to subjective probability which is based on informed guesswork. Now let's start with the empirical probability. Here to find the probability we need to design a random experiment, right? So we need to design a random experiment. When I say random experiment, it means what? It means that in the experiment which we design, we should have more than one outcome. We should have more than one outcome. And second part, which is very important is that outcome is unpredictable. You should not know in advance what will be the outcome, right? So outcome is unpredictable. So these are two distinguishing features of an experiment. So let's make an experiment. That is, uh, let's take up the case of rolling a die, right? So, so when we roll a die, we could get numbers from 1 to 6. And let's find uh, experimental probability or empirical probability for rolling even number. Okay, so let that be the experiment. So in that case, what do we do? We just roll the die, right? And then write down the numbers which we get. For example, let me roll the die here. We get number three. So what we do here is we kind of make a table and record the values, right? So we'll just make a table here. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we'll record the numbers which we get here, right? So let's say first time we roll and we get the number three. So we'll write down the number, number three. Then again, we can roll the die. And this time we got a number one. And now we again roll a die, number four. So we do it a couple of times. So let's do it, we got again a four. And then let's roll it, we got one. And then four. Let's roll it again, five this time. One, five. And let this be the last time. And this is the 10th time we have rolled and we got the number two. So basically what we did was that we did the experiment 10 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there were 10 trials in this experiment. So the probability of getting even number is how many times did we really get an even number out of these 10? So the even numbers which we got were 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the experimental probability for getting even number is 1, 2, 3, 4 over the number of times we tried this experiment and that was 10. So 4 over 10 is the probability, is the experimental probability of getting even number, which is kind of 2 over 5, right? Now if we have to do the same experiment and find the probability more accurately, then we actually have to do trials much more than 10. If we do trials, let's say 100 or so, we will approach the result which we could using theoretical probability. Well, what is theoretical probability? Theoretical probability is based on mathematical analysis. That is to say, when we look at the dies, we see that there are total number of outcomes possible 
numbers 1 to 6. So we say possible numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these are all the possible numbers. Out of these numbers, what are even numbers? So when we have an event, we say our event A is to find the probability for even numbers. That is the event, right? Probability to find the even numbers. Now in this case, we have how many even numbers? The even numbers are 1, 4 and 6. So the number of even numbers, which we can say is n a is 3. And in this sample space, total number of outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know total number of outcomes are in our sample space 6. Therefore, the probability of event A is actually favorable number of events outcomes to total number of outcomes which in this case will be 3 out of 6 or equal to half right so the theoretical probability for getting an even number when you roll a die is half this is based on our mathematical analysis now what is subjective probability it is based on informed guesswork now what does that mean well uh, let us say that we have made this video what is the probability of my making this video once again well i should say very less since we have already made one video but there could be some students interested in similar kind with some variation so we might just go for it so let me say that the probability subjective probability could be less than 10 percent or at the most let us say 10 percent or we could write this as in decimals 0 0.10 well let me give you another case here let us say my shoe size is is 9 now next year what is the probability of my purchasing the same shoe size we can reason it out that normally the shoe size doesn't change that much so the probability is very high so let's say this is the event b selecting the shoe size next year in that case of purchasing the same size right same size is relatively high i could put this as 90 percent or 0 0.9 right so this probability the subjective probability is based on the informed guesswork. So I hope with this you get an idea about three types of probabilities. Empirical probability is based on experiments. Theoretical is based on mathematical reasoning and subjective is based on informed guesswork. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.